Hello and welcome to Lisa Ann Can. <laughs> it's a boogie monster. Look at this boy's hair. We both need a haircut. You're so tall, your head is sticking up above the camera. <laughs> now you can't see my hair. Can't that. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Lisa Ann Can. I'm Lisa Ann. Thanks for joining me today. So what I am going to do right now is make a homemade buttermilk ranch dressing. Serenity, it's, it's lunchtime, so everybody's in the kitchen, but that's not unusual. We're all good. You're going to hear some background noise and things going on, but just ignore that, okay? So I love ranch dressing, and I think most of the people in the family love it. And um, we use this Hidden Valley Ranch powder that you mix with your buttermilk and your mayonnaise. So the reason that we love it probably is because it has MSG in it. That's what makes it taste so good. So I'm just going to read the ingredients that are here in this. The first ingredient is maltodextrin, and that is a sugar made from corn. Buttermilk salt, monosodium glutamate, MSG. That is the third, what, fourth ingredient. That means there's a lot of it in there. Onion, um, lactic acid, <clears throat> calcium lactate, so some kind of milk, spices, and we're not told which ones, Citric acid, that's usually made from lemons, I think, um, but it's a very tangy acid. It gives it that nice tangy flavor. Less than 1% of calcium stearate. Not sure what that's for. Artificial flavor. So artificial flavor is actually made like in a lab. Um, not using natural ingredients. Xanthan gum, that's probably a texture thing. Carbo, carboxy methyl cellulose, that's an anti-caking ingredient, I think. Guar gum, again, I think another stabilizer and texture. Natural flavor, as opposed to artificial flavor, those are extracts that are derived from naturally occurring things like okay if you had natural apple flavor they take the, an actual apple and dehydrate it and take the intense parts to add flavor they probably do that with onion and garlic in here um, as opposed to artificial where they don't actually use any real food for that um, and that's it, and it says it contains milk and soy, the monosodium glutamate, that's the soy portion. So anyway, um, regarding MSG, it's like a neurotoxic um, damager, I don't know, it's really not good for you, but it sure is delicious, it makes everything have a meaty taste to it. So once upon a time, um, my friend Jessica, who at the time had a health food store, she bought me some non-MSG Doritos because I love Doritos. And I ate like one out of the bag and I'm like, well, it tastes like Doritos, but I, I don't want any more. And what, that's my clock, it's 11, time to fix lunch. Um, the MSG is addictive. I think it makes you want more and more. So what I really liked is the MSG. And that's probably why I love ranch so much. But anyway, we're going to make a homemade buttermilk ranch today and see how it turns out. Okay, so I have my ingredients gathered here. Mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk, apple cider vinegar. I've got some parsley flakes some garlic powder, um, half of a lemon, and over here on my cutting board I've got about a tablespoon of onion. It was an onion that had started to sprout, so it's got the greens and the onion, just about a tablespoon of that, very finely chopped. 
Um, I have a couple of recipes that I looked at on the internet and what I've done is I've just sort of combined them and pick the things obviously that I have in the house. Um, so if this doesn't quite work, I'll be tweaking it a little bit more to try to get um, get that you know just right flavor. So I've decided that I'm going to start with um, three quarter cup of mayonnaise. That's a lot. And three quarter cup of sour cream. So I'm going to blend those together really well with my whisk. All right, so it, one of the recipes calls for a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. That's not very much, but that's what we're going to go for, about a teaspoon. And uh, about a, the same amount of lemon. I'm going to squeeze it through my strainer here so I don't get any seeds. And that's going to give it that citric acid zinginess. And I'm going to work those in really well. All right, so it's quite thick. It is pourable, but not as pourable as I would like. So I've got um, a half a cup of buttermilk, but I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. What do you think, Serenity? That's pretty thick. I've only used a quarter cup. and use it. All right, I use the entire half a cup of buttermilk and let me show you the consistency. I don't know if you can see that, but it pours very easily, but it still has a thickness to it. And it has a pretty good taste to it. All right, so what we want to do next is add some spices. And it occurred to me, I'm going to add an ingredient. Hold on. All right, this is Sanjay Tamari. It is a naturally fermented soy sauce. So when you buy the cheap soy sauce in the grocery store, what you're getting is MSG, basically. If you buy the naturally brewed or naturally fermented, um, you will be getting a better quality product. So I thought if, when I'm finished with this recipe, it feels like it needs something, this is the something that I'm going to add to it. All right, so let me scoop up my a finely chopped onion, about a tablespoon. And that may really be too much, but I think one of the things about ranch dressing is it has a nice oniony flavor. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of parsley. This is um, fresh parsley from the store that I dehydrated. It just has a better flavor than store-bought dried parsley, in my opinion. And then I've got here some garlic powder, and I'm going to start out with just a small portion, a quarter teaspoon. Oh, and salt, salt and pepper. So I'm going to start out with a half teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. Hello, pepper. Where are you? Somebody steal the pepper. Okay, the pepper just disappeared. I have no idea where it went. One half a teaspoon of pepper. And whisk this all up together. Now it looks pretty kind of looks more like buttermilk ranch now with the spices in it. That's pretty doggone good. I'm going to 
keep tasting. Mm, I like it. Hey, Renty, would you come taste of this? Tell me what you think. Ooh, I like it. What do you think if I add a teaspoon of soy sauce in there? She's my resident. Just a little bit. Mm. Like not quite a teaspoon. About a half teaspoon? Give it a take, give it a try. Yeah. All right, it tastes good. I would eat it just like it is. But let's see if we can give it a little more depth of flavor. We could even put fish sauce in it and make it good for us. Fish sauce is just really salty, and so you reduce your salt when you add fish sauce, but fish sauce adds nutrition. I'm having a hard time opening it. Mm -hmm. Smells meaty, don't it? It does. All you right. said you can always add more. Can't yes, more. that's right. So I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of that in there. Gotta go in the recipe book, huh? Mm hmm. Be the first to taste. Dip your finger way down in there. I think it's good how it is right now. Okay. Let me try. It has a soy saucy taste to it. Mmm. That did like. We're double dipping. I'm actually eating the soy sauce out of the teaspoon. That is perfection. You know what it needs? It needs a salad. <laughs> That's what it needs. All right. So I'm going to put it in this jar. And I'm sure the oniony flavor is going to get stronger as it sits in the refrigerator. Uh, and that may be a good or a bad thing. I don't know. But, looky. I went out to my garden just a few minutes ago and I had some beautiful little lettuce greens. And then I had some iceberg in the fridge, which I love iceberg because it's so crunchy. And I also found a few little broccoli side shoots. So I made myself this salad. I'm gonna pour this dressing on top and enjoy this low carb homemade creation. Your oven's warm. So before I go, I want to show you my new apron. Maybe you noticed it. Storm gave me this for Christmas. She bought it, but what she did was embroidered on it. So right here is the morning glory, the little emblem that you see at the beginning of Lisa Ann Can. Did you notice that? Yeah, I was she, watching her make it. Oh, you saw her. She kept it secret. And then over here it has a ro rose, roses, and then down here on the pockets, which you can't see, there's just all kinds of wonderful little patches and things. So I'm going to take a picture and show those to you close up. And um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Uh, don't take my word for it. It is delicious, but find out for yourself. Get you some fresh greens and enjoy a homemade dressing without all the nasty MSG in it. Thanks, and see you next time. <laughs>